So, welcome everyone. We are back with uh, you know, Iron Wars Series Season Three, Race Nine, which is gonna be at Morrowind. But first, I must show you what went down as they uh, apparently give us the replay. Check out here as to what went down in the qualifier race. So, for some weird reason, the Iron Wars Series sanctioned by could not get. Uh, the guys in charge of the Dodge Motorhome to do a qualifier race there. For some reason, like, I guess for timing reasons, I guess they only have enough time for the race itself. So because of that, the Iron Warrior Series had to find the next, the next thing over that they could find that is, well, approved by the Iron Warrior Series sanctioning body. And here they are at Salem for the, for the qualifier race. So all the guys outside top 35 in points are in this race. Nine spots available for the main race, so kind of like Las Vegas. Just like Las Vegas, sorry. And, well, that's about it. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, we're going to do the drivers. <laughs> Alright, looking at the starting lineup here for the qualifier race. In, on, uh, in front here, amongst these guys, we have... Irene Stravosky, who's been on a roll in that 39 Dodge for Daredevil Motorsports. And this is her final start, as uh, John Ryan is expected to make his return at Indy. Then we got, whoops, we got uh, Josh Harmon, who I think made every race so far. And then we got Joshua Keller behind him in row two, along with the next car. It's been a different driver for the one car every time. For Daredevil Motorsports slash Kana. Which I don't think they got. I don't think they gave me a specific name. I don't know. Even Murray. Alongside Jeff. Jeff Fisher? I thought it was. Yeah, there's Jeff Fisher. Fisher. Then there's. We got Jay Bilzerian. Along with Antonia Gomez. Making a return. Been a rough season for her. Even though she's made only like a few starts. Or been attempting a few starts. Akiko Yoshida was able to make it was able to make it to the main race forehand. Was able to make it to the main race uh back in uh, Vegas. <gasps> then we got Joshi Morris plus car Damian Kyle Wood. Then we got Joshua Brown who has failed to qualify for both attempts so far. Let's see if third time is the charm. Alongside William McQuire. Then we got Nick Hershey, who's had an absolute garbage season, alongside Andrew Gloomerman. And Ryan out is 73 of Christian Bracken. So much for that Wendy sponsorship. Am I right? Alright, boys. Uh, qualifying race underway. 10 laps, 15 cars, only 9 spots available for the race that's going down at uh, Dodge Motorhome. So let's see who won this thing. And oh, it looks like, wow, Stravowski, as always, with that speed of hit, this, that speed of hers, I almost said his, I think I still said anyway. oh boy, those guys, now, as far as Salem goes, I'm not sure what fur lane is, a lot of these guys go on the inside, a lot of them seem to go on the high side too, or maybe that was just a star, I don't know, they seem to be going single file, pretty, I can't speak, pretty quickly, going lap two, so, the main thing we're looking for, wow, they're three wide in turn one, in turns one and two. Didn't think they could keep, I didn't think they'd get that stick. As, uh, Duna Gomez in the ten, up to third? No. Up to seventh. No, up to sixth. Anyway, that's not the main story here. Looking at ninth, in the final spot is the 46. So, meanwhile, Gluberman. We got Gluberman. McQuire, DK Wood, Joshua Brown, Nick Hershey, and well, Christian Bracken. Dude, the same the same guys, D and Q and man, I don't know. Oh boy, Gloorman into the wall. That's gonna cost him dearly. So much for being tenth. Actually speaking of that, McQuire passed him. Now McQuire's going for that last spot. Let's see McQuire let's see if McQuire qualified for the race. But who knows? We have to wait and see. As Stravowski is just on, Stravowski has just been on a roll in these qualifier races. Just she's been absolutely on a roll. I must say. 
and she's just off to the sunset. She's always at speed, but she's like, you know, I mean, a new driver, she was under, you know, below top 35 in points. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. Joshua Brown smacked that wall hard. Caught that just in time. Not that it matters much. The 20 is trying to catch the 46, or at least, yeah, he's got to. He wants a chance. Oh, the 46 into the wall. That's going to cost him dearly. Oh, no, the 20 went up into him. Oh, he messed it up. <laughs> Dude, the 20, he tried. Door opened up for him, only for him to just go right into him. Oh, my. And he lost two spots because of that. And with that, the 46 takes the final transfer spot. While everyone else is a DNQ. The same guys from, same guys that DNQ'd at Vegas, too. Except for the 20. I think he was there. I think he made it. I don't remember. So much for that. That was a crucial moment for McGuire. Right, here's what went wrong. 46 on the wall. Looked like McGuire could get away with it here. And then now it's on four. Ah, he went up in him. McGuire <laughs> screwed himself. At least, I, at least that's what it looks like. But anyway, let's take a look at the results. All right, so right quick, here are the results. You know, not much to say. Oh, Keller made it in. So that's props to him. Especially with his DNQs, he usually struggles to qualify in the races where there's like a bunch of qualifier races in place or whatnot. Then we got Kanako getting in. So far, every guy, every driver who's been a part of that Daredevil kind of lemon program, that one car, so far all of them have been able to make the races, so props to them. Fisher's in. Gomez in. I think this is her first attempt in two races or so. Bozerian finally making his first start because he failed to qualify at Vegas. Then Yoshida with that final spot. And then uh, Gluerman is in 10th. Require. Oh, he's. Require tried but failed miserably. Joshua Brown in 88 once again fails to qualify. Third race in a row. And Bracken, I think that's the second time in a row he's DNQ'd. Here's what it is. Let's get to the main action here. So, yeah, that's right, guys. We are finally here at the main race itself as uh, qualifying ended. And, well, and this is my first time to take a look at the lineup. I told you how I, you know, I was watching that replay with you guys. And, well, here we are now. Qualifying ended. And look who is up front. But before we get to that, here is the top five going into the uh, top five of the point standings coming into this race. So the points leader is still Heim Wayne King by a significant margin over Derek Jitar. Uh, Derek, Derek, Derek Jitar, the 69, who is 44 points behind Heim. Meanwhile, in third, there's actually a four way tie for third points with Ronnie and Santiago, Mitchell Hodak. Josh Lee and Lincoln Denmark, who is, who has returned, but we will get to that in a minute. And, yeah, so, I think, yeah, those basically are top five in the points standings, with Denmark's six in points, but yeah, there you go. And here is the starting lineup for this race. My goodness, there is a lot going on. Or actually, let's get to the stories first, whoops, forgot to mention. Okay, first story to cover is Irene Stravosky, who's making her final start, or at least driving this car. I don't know, maybe the other most supposed to have her driving another car later on this season. I don't know yet. But as far as driving the 39 car, this is her last start in it. And she was only she was only gonna be doing three races as John Ryan is out for an injury from the Bristol Dirt Crash. And well, so far she's been doing good. She's been winning or winning or just finishing well in the Qualifier races and again solid top 20 finishes every time out. I well, I mean, only two stars, but still, she's really stood out, especially at Las Vegas. The next story to talk about is that after surgery, Lincoln Denmark has returned, and yeah, him missing out one race made him lose, caused him to lose four spots just from missing Vegas. But hopefully, there's still time for him to bounce back if he wants to beat his teammate. Or will Haim Wayne King beat his boss to get a championship? Or neither? Well, anyway, that's, I don't know. They have to wait and see. They're not the only contenders. All right, our last story to talk about is 65 of Karina Sutton. 
who has uh, basically she was the one with that clutch victory at last in the last race at Las Vegas there, and well, time to see if she go two for two. She's starting twelfth in this race, so seems like a good start. And another thing, oh, another thing I have to mention: there was an error in calculation. So I've been saying the wrong thing the whole time. And in fact, there were only eight spots available. So because of that, yeah, the, the 46 is actually out. The guy who actually got the final spot was, well, I forgot who finished eighth in that in that qualifier race, but 46 was is failed to qualify. And here are the list of DNQs right quick, as you can see there. Now, without further ado, let's take a look at our starting lineup. Alright boys, without further ado, let's take a look at our starting lineup. So on the pole is the man who's fourth in points right now, Mitchell Hodak. Alongside the no, another driver from the number one entry, Hana Kanako. So far all the guys who've driven in one car for that team has been doing good so far. We have Akini Makudu who's tenth in points, alongside the loose cannon Kari Spinner. Kari Spinner. Then we got, row three's got Giselle Alves, who's now in the top 35 in points, so she'll be able to be locked in every race as long as she stays in there, alongside Jeff Fisher. Then we've got the leader of the Empire, Colin Cropley, alongside Trade Network Studios. Then we got Irene Shavrosky making our final start, or at least in this car, and Skylar Taylor. Then we got Karina Sutton, who's the last race winner, and alongside Joshua Keller. Then we got Antonia Gomez alongside Jazz Lee. Then we got Jonathan Denmark back in that 81 car. Or, or back in that, you know, sure gun 81 car. Alongside Derek Jeter, who's second at points. I'm Wayne King. I don't see him around here. He's somewhere out back. So maybe that'll help out the championship contenders right now. Not only that, Indy will be a crucial race. We'll get to that when the race goes on. Noah Sewell on the 22, alongside Jarno Elish. Martin Stone, alongside the 82 of Lincoln Denmark, who has returned. And we got uh, Rowan Highfield, who is, I think he's essentially done with Ford, or at least not getting back by Ford after the season, at least that's what he said. Oh, starting alongside his teammate. Opposite paint schemes from each other. Then we got Jay Bilzerian making a start. His start. Making his first start. We got alongside Becca Chang. Then we got Chris Fortin alongside the O2 of Catherine Cantara. She's been fairly sound, though she's still in the top 20 points. Then we got Michael Hoax alongside the 51 of Shiori Hamasaki. Then we got Josh Lee alongside Connor Lemon. I think Josh Lee's still fifth in points, so he's got a shot. <laughs> Go for it. See you three times. Uh, Ida Carlisle alongside Car uh, Kukowski. And we got uh, Heim Wayne King alongside Caden Lemon, the daredevil himself. I don't know. I assume it's named after himself. And we have Avon Murray and Josh Harmon, both part of Skylar Taylor's team. Then we got Joseph Wilson alongside Lyle Austin. Joseph Wilson's on a downswing lately. Elijah Willis. Alongside 42 of Ronnie and Santiago. This will not help her as she's throwing points. And then Ryan out is the 26 of Aubrey Scott. So let's see how they do here. Let's get to the race. Alright, so here is the race summary for this race. 50 laps, 41, car, 41 cars, 50 laps. I'm not sure which order they put it in usually on the screen. I usually forget. But anyway, Mitchell Hodak on pole for this race. This will really help out the points standings. Which, by the way, I gotta mention right quick. As, uh... My gonna... Yeah, I gotta mention right quick. This is, like, crucial points now, especially with Indy being the next race, which is race 10. As the winner... Uh, basically, Indy's gonna be double points. Just to remember. It's gonna be double points, so the winner gets 100... Uh, actually, if the winner gets 50 points... Yeah, so... The winner gets 100 points, and... Second place gets, well, whatever second place gets, usually 47 points, I think. And there's, whoa, smoke. Oh, there's a crash. It's Wilson. Gomez. Oh, no. And the leader is involved. Somewhat. Caution's out. The 31 of Keller. 
Keller, dude, it, Keller did not need this. He's been struggling to qualify for races as is. And there he goes. Not sure if any. Oh my gosh, more collisions. The double zero Martin Stone. All right, let's see a replay on a few things. Let's go through Keller first. Okay, focusing on Keller here, what happened? You go around. Oh, oh man, he just ah, slowed the track. And there's the damage from Martin Stone. That's a lot more cars involved than I thought there was. I don't know. All right, shout out 69 Derek Jeter, who's second in points. Yeah, ah, uh, Keller just, I don't know. Keller just washed up into her. It was like really terrible angle. Looking at that. Yeah, washed up into her. Jeez, an 81 evolves. I'm surprised no one smashed it to the 81 sitting there. Yep. And then he just kept piling in that 53 of Carlisle. Carlisle's all the way in the back. Somewhat. Yeah, that was just yikes. That's a yikes. Fortin involved in 95 of Bilzerian. That's it. That is a yikes. So here we are already on the restart, it looks like. Yeah, Josh Lee is out for camshaft. Carlisle is out, and so is Martin Stone. Uh, yeah, restart here. Forgot to say the top five, not that it matters that much. I mean, sort of. Hodak still in the lead. Bilzerian, we gotta look out there. 95 and a 69 with a lot of damage. They might cause problems. Yeah, they're both a lap down. The only car is a lap down. At least Jeter's still out there for some crucial points. Especially when it looks like this might this race might be chaos. Stravowski's stuck on the outside. Now, whatever is the preferred... Uh oh I thought Stravowski got taken out there. Whatever the preferred lane is, it really depends. From what I've seen, like, they're strong, they're strong diving into the corner on the inside, but on exit, the outside's kind of faster. But it really depends. In fact, a lot of them seem to gravitate towards the outside, or at least the guys back there. As the top five, actually, top five is still fairly close. Hodak has some competition. Cannot go in that one off, or at least I think their level more sports said she was a one off. Still not sure yet. They've been, they got a lot of drivers on standby for that team, man. For, really, for that car. Especially, uh, Erie Avondale did pretty good in that car in Las Vegas. Car, Michael Carlisle, I forgot how he, how he did in airbase. I don't remember much for that race. I just remember that Kukowski won and Cropley was just, Cropley's biggest enemy was like, was the pole, the light poles that are around the track. Speaking of Cropley, he is running in six. He's out, I think he's right out, he's still in the top 20 points. The thing is now, mathematically, I, I'm, I think I'm guessing, because I, I don't remember the points exactly. I just remember top five right now. I was talking about the top, I'd estimate top 20 is still mathematically in contention for the title. I mean, even with like, even though there's quite a big points differential between Heimwin King and the second place of Derek Jeter, or at least going into this race, because as it stands now, I think that's the gap is bigger depending on where Heim is. And look at that. Wow. Yeah, there's quite a battle for second back there. They just can't, yeah, they cannot seem to catch him. They cannot seem to catch Hodak. They're busy battling each other. Is there, there's the, the one car of Kanako. It's like basically holding off second. Holding off everyone, just keep second. She got to start making moves to get to the Hodak, who's just been cruising this whole time. Especially since the restart. There he's, uh, by the way, the loose can curry spinner. Finally having a good run for once. Feels like he's not been, I don't know, I feel like he's been silently good. Kind of. He was, at least in the half, by the halfway report, he was in the top 10 points. But honestly, I feel like he hasn't really done anything crazy. In fact, I think Kerry's just stayed, Kerry's just stayed out of trouble for the most part. And oh boy. And Cropley, wait a minute, Cropley with his moves, he was at sixth place. How do you get to, how do you get to fourth? What the, what did he do to pass Makudu? And he, oh my, making a move, oh my, he forced a three wide. 
Nath forces Kanako to go on the brakes. I don't think she wants to go. I guess she didn't want to go three wide. She didn't want to take that risk, which, to be fair, that first accident told us anything. You don't want to take that kind of risk. Okay, then. Cropley. Oh, snap! Oh, my word! No! Mr. Hornak blew up from the lead! Oh my gosh, you cannot make this up. Are you serious? Dude, that's crucial points gone. And now Kerry Spinner's the leader. Dude, Hodak blew up from the lead. That, oh my gosh. Now there's been a few blowouts throughout the season, but this is this has to be the most effective. This That has to be the worst one yet. He blew up from the lead, man. Hodak, and I think, what, let me see, we need an update on Hodak right quick. Oh, he's out. Just like that, Hodak is out from the lead. After leading every single lap up to, before that blowout. Oh, man, he was cruising, man. No one could contest him. Had the main battle was for second. That's what the focus was on, you know? Looking at the action, you know, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to, you know, show you guys all the action. Well, or at least as much action as possible. Well, the action was happening right behind Hodak. Only discover Hodak blew up from the lead. I, that's rough. And here's Korea Sutton in thir running 13th currently. And, well, about to get passed by her boss, Hayden Lemon. And there, oh boy, and there, I was about to look for Heimwing King. No need, he's right here. Point, current point slayer, he is running, well, I think he's running 13th, or I think he's past, uh, yeah, he's running 14th. And well, the dude's just, I don't know, he's just been on a roll lately. It's hard to explain. Oh, Las Vegas was mad, but all the other contenders had trouble too. Which really helped in his point sleep. So far, this might be the biggest points gap so far in the series. Well, possibly. I don't know. I, I, I might be wrong on that one. But I felt like season two, season two's season was fairly closer, and that involved Hydefeld, Josh Lee, and I think LJ Toledo when he was still in the series. Uh, I'm looking through this. It's like, wow. Joseph Wilson with damage. So at least things have calmed down between these guys. My goodness. Now, depending on the pit cycle when that accident happened, hopefully these guys don't run out of fuel. Or have to pit for tires or whatever. Like, with like five, within five laps to go. Because my goodness. And there is Elish. I haven't talked about these guys in a while. Chief and Elish Sewell, they haven't really, they haven't really done anything. They haven't really done much of no. Looking at, if we're looking at the bigger picture here, Kanako still had a pretty good performance, even though she's down to sixth after all that. Bilzerian, yeah, he's a lap down. He's keeping it clean for the most part. Shavrosky in seventh, still keeping that top ten run going. As there's Keller, I think he's a lap down too. Is he? I mean, he has damage. No, he's on the lead lap. Well, he's about to get lap. Yeah, there you go. He just got lapped. I just realized. Leader, which I think, it, wow, there's a lot of traffic going on. Kerry Spinner's the leader, by the way, to 37. Loose Cannon himself, which I think this is the fir first time he's led laps all season. I could be wrong on that. I don't know. I could be wrong on that. Is I haven't kept track of. I haven't kept track of everyone who's led a lap. So mainly because I don't know. Mainly because there's not really any bonus points involved with lean laps, so. Doesn't really matter too much, but I feel like it's something of note when these guys lead, even for a minute. As uh, Lingen Denmark, who is trying to make a comeback here after missing a race due to injury or surgery. Well, technically injury, and then he raced on that injury. Oh man, surprised he's not out for more races. But it is what it is. What's done is done. Denmark's here, and he's so far not really making an impact. Oh, he got a bit loose exiting turn four. So far, he is not making an impact. Or turn three, sorry. Turn out of turn two. We get my turns mixed up. My bad. So let's see how that goes. 31 at Keller. Like, yeah, it is fairly spread out now, but there's still a lot of stuff going on. 
as spinner some key there's a key drivers to look out for um so look at that. so gomez got damage from that crash sort of fortin a lot of guys with damage seem to be t stuck together interestingly enough then i don't know here are some guys that are clean lyle lawson in the 43 rough time two running at santiago's third in points coming into this race she started in the second and last row korea sutton's on her own there don't know what place she's in i think she's Still 14, 15. No, she found on the 17th. That's a drop. So yeah, I think the main thing for Makudu, the main thing that's gonna help Makudu get by, or try if she's gonna if Makudu's gonna beat Kerry Spinner, which they're not really team, they're not really teammates, but they're somewhat because Kerry Spinner is an owner driver, his own boss, essentially. The key factor here is there's going to be lap traffic, but Kerry Spinner seems to have no problem with, so I don't know. I might have to take that back. He is deep in lap traffic, and the 44 isn't anywhere near them. Like the, he ha She'd have to wait for her. She needs to have a caution come out right now or within another lap or so if she wants to, if she wants to shot at Spinner. Cause my, Spinner's just on a roll. Either that or it's the pit cycle thing, like I said before. If they run out of fuel, this turns to some battle. Yeah, if this turns to like, if this turns to mile, lap mile, what do you call it? Mileage, fuel mileage, that's the words. Those are the words I'm looking for. Fuel mileage win. Hopefully it doesn't turn to fuel mileage. I think that's the biggest, I think that's like, that's basically the best bet. Or, bet, best bet. I mean, That'd be Spinner's hope that it doesn't turn to fuel mileage here. He is deep in lap traffic. No one can stop him. Kudu in the 44. Still in second. Giselle Alves in third. Fourth is the 87 Jeff Fisher. That's an interesting one. Well, actually, no. It goes Cropley now. There goes Cropley in fourth. Yeah, they're going by lap traffic slowly but surely, but it's not enough. They cannot move. Where is the 37? He is right there. Yeah, he is right 37 man and this will help him point since he's see he's basically been fairly close in the battle points battle somewhat it's been like the like points battle has been all over the place especially with the chaos that ensues harry spinner making moves on the inside is that a smart idea well it seemed to work for all two seconds as aubrey scott passes him not sure if that matters oh white flag yeah that's it unless car does something stupid here he is going to win. You have to wait and see. There's Aubrey Scott. Kerry stuck on the inside. Doesn't look like... Yeah, that's not going to affect him. As uh, Kerry Spinner is your winner at Dodge Motor Dome. Would you look at that? So your winner is Kerry Spinner. That, like, massive props there. Especially after a pr fairly mixed season. Not sure what happened. He, I guess he missed pit road. But yeah, what a performance by Kerry Spinner. Just, I don't know, even though, it, even though it was mainly due to Mitchell Hodak just, you know, blowing up. He was able to hold on that lead and get deep in lap traffic to stay away from Akudu. But we're going to have to, oh boy. Before, what the, what is Blazeri doing? Before we get to the results, you gotta look at what happened at lap 21. I noted it down. It was lap 21. Sorry, look at that. It's lap 22. What on earth happened? As yeah, he starts going. So wow. He immediately blew up and then just went straight to paper. That sucks. That is. That has to be the most crushing blow yet. Even like, like just more crushing than. I don't know, Santiago not winning at Vegas, or... Who, who didn't win at Rockingham? I think Denmark? Winning Denmark? I don't remember. But yeah, that is rough. But it is what it is. So, anyways, let's take a look at the finishing results for this race. Alright, boys, here's the finishing results for this race. So... Winner is Kerry, the loose cannon himself, Kerry Spinner. The loose cannon this finally worked out for the pair. Uh, and Kenny Makudu with a solid second place finish. That will help her out in the point standings too. 
Connor Lemon's drivers have been on a roll these past few races, especially Connor herself. And a lot of lap cars, and this is just from racing, like this isn't really from cautions, just from lap traffic. Uh, cannot go in fourth, not sure what it says there. Cropley, by the way, Cropley, hands up to Cropley. I don't really name MVPs for races, but I feel like Cropley's got to be, they, unofficially, because uh, again, I don't really put out MVP awards, whatever. but MVP this race to me is Colin Cropley. The passes he made, even though he was running top 10 the whole time, Seemed like it was a bit hard for a top 10 to pass each other. They really spread out. But Cropley was able to make the moves. Especially in the, especially when the top three gets a lot more. Gets like has a There's a points differential between third and fourth. The amount of points they get between them is quite different. Because fourth onwards is a point. They're a point from each other. But top three, if you finish podium, you got a lot more points. So this, so Cropley getting crucial points here, so, you know, to have a shot at the title. But anyway, Kanako fourth, fifth is Alves, six is uh, I almost said John Ryan, Stravowski, solid sixth place finish for her final start. Props to her. Fisher in seventh, eighth is Sewell, ninth is Ellis, and Kathy Cattell ran out of top ten. I didn't even mention the rest of the top ten. Actually, I mentioned these two at some point. That was about it. Skylar Taylor eleventh. So I mean. Scott Taylor season has been really mid, but it is what it is. At least he got an 11th place finish. Studios there, Caden Lemon. Points there, Heimlein King. I don't think those will put a hindrance to... Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think the 14th place will really hinder him going for a title. As uh, The other four contenders, if I list them off, Jeter is, well, not even top 28 from what I'm seeing here. Josh Lee... Nowhere to be found as well. I'm going to have to look through that later. I'm going to look through the points later. Uh, Elijah Willis, Josh, Josh Harmon, the 65 of Sutton. It is what it is. Um, Heidfeld, Hoax, Murray. And then basically only 23 cars finish on the lead lap. Kukowski got lap, Santiago, that's one of the contenders. Santiago 25th. Gomez. How many DNFs are there? I'm not sure if... I guess Wilson is... There's so only four DNFs in this race. Wilson. Hodak just blew up from the lead. That had to suck, man. It, out for a header. Yikes. That's the most painful loss I've ever seen. And that was like midway through... Before the midway point, because lap 22. Couldn't even make it halfway. Oh, jeez. That has to suck. So much for the Arby's. Anyway, um, oh, there's Jeter. He was the last guy to finish amongst amongst guys who are still out there. So yeah, Jeter, Jeter wound up 37th. Look at the other contenders here. Hodak was in the lead, but blew up and then 38th. Josh Lee out for camshaft from that initial accident. Uh, from, uh, there you go, uh, 39th, so... Did not help. Carlisle gets zero points, by the way. So, that's, I mean, she's, I don't think, she's nowhere near a title hunt, but that, that is a crushing blow still. Looking at the rest of the lineup. I'm looking at contenders one by one. King is 14th. He's points leader. Second of points going into this was Santiago. She winds up finishing all the way into 25th. Jeter is 37th. Hodak's 38th. Josh Lee's there. Where is Denmark? So, out of, okay, looking at the guys to a top five in the point standings going into this race, the one who finished the best was the point slayer, High Moy King. So, yeah, this will help him. If we're talking like, between these five, between those five guys, that will really help him out on his point slay. He's just getting away with it now. And he only won one race. Just speaking of winning races, nine ra we are, this is like ninth race complete so far this season. Nine different winners. We have not had a single repeat winner this season. Though they're ha they have been close. But, looking at the team. So, let's see. Denmark won a race. Uh, Heim Wayne King won a Bristol Dirt. That's two wins for Denmark Shiragani Enterprises. Josh Lee won a Five Flags. Giselle won Phoenix. Giselle drives for Josh Lee. Uh, that's two wins for Josh Lee Motorsports. Now, Cropley and his empire. 
Uh, he Cropley himself won at Rockingham. Michael Hoax won the first Bristol Dirt Race. That's two wins for Cropley's Empire. Kukowski is an owner driver. He's a one car operation. He won at Air Base. And if we were well, the one win for Daredevil Motorsports and one win for well, Kerry Spinner, who is basically his own team, but sort of I sort of associate him. I sort of put him and Connor Lemon's team together, somewhat associated. So yeah, my goodness, these none of these teams really have an edge, except maybe Heimway and King. He's just been getting better finishes. So, yeah, Sonia Nevermind really giving Heimway and King the luck of the luck of the points here. So next race is gonna be an Indy. Before we get to Indy, I, I'm gonna be making a video that puts all basically where any one-off entries for that race. I think I'll put in that video. I don't know. I have to make the video right after this in time of recording times. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you, you know, enjoy this one. And, uh, well, if you and if you guys want to sign up for Traxxas Pro Series 4, if you haven't already, then, you know, go check out that video. I might link it to this one, too, if anything. Uh, so, yeah, that's about it.